can barely see the sun from this waiting room. Stomachs turn as morning turns to afternoon. Small talk and fake laughs as they await the news. But no matter what that doctor says, this preacher's there for you. He grew up in Mississippi to a man with two wives. One was his mother, the other was a bodily tried to hide. Running from the law and running from the Lord, all to no end. Till everything changed one night in that revival tent. He didn't go to college, he ain't got no degree. But he loves the ones most of us never see Won't drive a new car Shops at the thrift store Saves everything not knowing why or what for But when your shiny life loses its you This preacher's there for you He was there when his brother tried to die. The bullet spared his life but stole his left eye. And the night before his mama went to the promised land, he laid in bed next to her just to hold her hand. Everyone in town's got their own story to tell. Hard times and fun times, when Miss Renee fell. And you may not like it when he talks about the Holy Ghost. But this preacher's there when you need him most. He didn't go to college, he ain't got no degree. But he loves the ones most of us never see Won't drive a new car Shops at the thrift store Saves everything not knowing why or what for But when your shiny life loses its you This preacher's there for you Your shiny life loses its hue. This preacher's there for you. Good morning, Cedar Grove family. My name is Ronnie Burleson. I am a member of Cedar Grove Baptist Church and also a deacon of Cedar Grove. And being a deacon has allowed me to work beside a special man. That special man is Brother Billy Abrams. How I would have loved to have been here on January the 6th, 1991, when this man preached his first sermon. But I, I wasn't here, but I understand he was a little fireball. But he is still a wonderful man his dedication to our congregation here at Cedar Grove, to each and every one of us as individuals. He's always there in our time of need. He reaches out to the community like no one I've ever seen before. He bounces around and the reason that's the reason some people call him the Energizer Bunny. They call him Bungie Billy because he, he bounces around like the Energizer Bunny. But it's a great honor to, to be here at Cedar Grove with him and each and every one of you guys and to be able to celebrate his 30th anniversary here at Cedar Grove. We love you, brother. Keep up the good work. And Lord, just thank you, Jesus, for this man. We love you, brother. 
our favorite memory of Brother Billy was when I was pregnant with this one and I had no one around to take me to the hospital. And Brother Billy graciously came and picked me up from my house and took me to the hospital. He was petrified, but he's always there to help others whenever they're in need, even in situations like that. I was on the search committee that uh, found Brother Billy and uh, brought him and, uh, before the church. And one thing that I noticed about his uh, message was it was fresh and that it was about current events that happened during the week and how he incorporated those current events into his message. And he hasn't changed. And that's what I like about him. So what I admire about Billy is his willingness to share his love of Jesus with everyone, whether you're in Walmart, you're at the gas station, you're in a dark alley. He doesn't just wait till church time or visitation times. So he lives it and he shares it so much. So that's what I admire most about him. I'd like to say congratulations. It's an accomplishment to make 30 years anywhere. To be a pastor for 30 years, that takes a lot because being a pastor, you got to put 20, 25 hours a day into a job. It's not a 24 hour job, it's a 25 hour a day job. So I'd like to say once again, congratulations. We love you, Brother Billy. Keep it up. God bless. Hey, Brother Billy, just want to say congratulations on 30 years of ministry at Cedar Grove. And personally, I just want to say thank you so much for who you are and the leader that you are there at Cedar Grove and what you invested into me and to my life. They say that every man needs a Paul, a Silas, and a Timothy. And I am so unbelievably thankful that God allowed you to be one of those Pauls in my life that taught me what it means to be a pastor, not just a preacher on Sunday mornings, but a pastor to a group of people. And I will always, always be thankful for that. So love you, sir, and congratulations on 30 years of ministry at Cedar Grove. Have you ever heard of a people person? Well, if you know Brother Billy, then you know a people person. I go to Walmart, they ask about Brother Billy. I go to the beauty shop, they ask about Brother Billy. I go to the drugstore, they ask about Brother Billy. But we, in the Cedar Grove Church family, we don't have to ask for Brother Billy because he's always here, he's always available, and he's always prepared. But the most wonderful thing about Brother Billy is he is a God-fearing man. And he passes on the knowledge that he knows in such a way that we too want to learn more. So I'm just thankful for the many years that I've been here with Brother Billy. And I just pray for his help and I pray for his service with the family, the church family. And I see him as a family man. He loves his wife and he loves his children. And that's why God created us. And I love the Cedar Grove family. The first time we ever met Billy, I didn't really know that he was the pastor of the church, but Joel and I um, had came just to visit Cedar Grove and Billy walks out to greet us and ask if we knew where service was. And then he just kind of opens the back of the car door and starts getting our kids who were really small at the time out. And Joel and I were like, who is this guy? So fast forward to service, we had listened to music and then Billy walks on stage as the pastor and we look at each other like, wow. So that kind of started our relationship. Billy's always just been very giving, caring to our family and we just appreciate it. So happy 30th anniversary. Hey, Brother Billy, I haven't been here long, but, and I haven't known you very long, but I know that you're a wonderful person. If there's anything I can ever do for you, all you have to do is let me know. I love you and have a happy anniversary. Hey, Brother Billy, we just want to say how much we love you and are so grateful for the opportunity that we had to serve alongside you in ministry. Thank you for being a wonderful example to us and to so many others of what it means to love God and love people. Hey, Billy, just wanted to let you know in a million words, I could never express to you how much you mean to the banks and the Braden families. We love you and hope you're here 30 years from now. When I first started coming to this church back in uh, 2001, not long after I started coming, my brother died and Billy was right there comforting. And every time I've been in the hospital, for whatever reason, he's there. 
and there's nobody in any hospital that doesn't know Billy Abel. And to me, he is the epitome of a pastor. He's not a preacher. He's a pastor. He's a good shepherd of his sheep, and I love him dearly. Brother Billy is, uh, is special in his own way. There is no one else like him, and he's always there for you if you need him. If, you're, if you ever ask him to do anything, if he can do it, he'll do it. He's just that kind of man, God man. He is a godly man if there ever was one. I love him dearly. He was also with me through my daughter's sickness and with her. And uh, this church and him just made the world to me. I call Brother Billy this whole community's ever ready bunny. He never stops. I have never in my life seen anybody that could do as much and be in so many places at the same time. I mean, I can't name the times that people would, there would be a gathering for some reason and they'll say, well, Brother Billy can't come because he's, he's got this or he's got to do that, and here he'll come. And he, he's always there if you're in the hospital, if you're having test or anything, you look up and Brother Billy's going to be there. And I, I love him to death and I'm just so thankful that we have somebody like him uh, to be our pastor and our friend. And you never know what's going to come out that mouth. And when he does this, you really don't know. And I've got him listed in my phone as my irreverent rev. <laughs> Hi, Brother Billy. I'm not a member of your congregation, but I run into you everywhere, and you've brought such joy to my life. I feel a great affinity for you in your teachings, and I hope you have a wonderful anniversary. Oh, Brother Billy, we are so thankful for you, me especially. Thank you for welcoming me here to Cedar Grove, and being a part of the church family and the church staff. I've been a um, on staff at other churches and by far this is the one where I love the leadership, I love your uh, discipleship, I love your mentor. Thank you for all that you've done for me and for my family. We really do appreciate you. I just want you to know that I truly appreciate you. I appreciate you for who you are. I appreciate you for uh, the good things you've done and I appreciate you for the laughter that you've given all of us for the silly things you've done. And for what you've done for our family, I can never thank you enough. And for being there at some uh, special times, it was just great to know that you shared that with us. But to work as closely as I worked with you for nine years and to come out of it still loving you and knowing the good and the bad of Billy Abrams is a wonderful thing. And when God got hold of your heart, he did a wonderful work. And I am so grateful. Hey, Brother Billy, we love you so much. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your energy. We thank you for your participation with the kids and how much you love your congregation. Thank you so much, and God bless you. Billy, Billy, what can I say that would describe how I feel about you? You know, I love you very much, and you have been with me through a lot of hardship and uh, a lot of joy, and I just want to tell you that uh, under your leadership, I have grown in Christ, and I am so thankful for you and Lori being here for 30 years. We're very thankful that you have been here this long, and the church loves you, and I love you. Billy, thank you for all that you do for this church and this community. I think this is 30 years that you've been here. I was just a kid when you came. We love you, Billy. Thank you, Brother Billy. We love you, Brother Billy. Thank you for 30 years, Brother Billy. We love you, Brother Billy. Thank you, Brother Billy. We love you. Thank you, Brother Billy. We love you, Brother Billy. Thank you for all that you do. We love you. Thank you, Brother Billy. We love you all so much. We do, baby. Thank you, Brother Billy, for what all you do, and God, may God bless you. Thank you, Brother Billy. Thank, Thank you for 30, 30 years, Brother Billy. Thank you for 30 years, Brother Billy. Thanks for 30 years, Billy. Uh, let's shoot for 30 more. Thank you for 30 years.
Hey, Billy, just want to say thank you for all the wonderful years. We, we love, love you, you, Billy. We love you, Brother Billy. Love you. All right. Billy.